Hello, this is Shofty Shofty, and I'm building again. Yeah, and today we are playing another episode of uh, Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And uh, actually, I want to do, do something interesting. Uh, I realized something that our passive generation for a lot of chemicals are lacking. Yeah, the basic ones are here, but I need the more advanced ones, especially ammonia and hydrochloric acid. And best way of doing it is expanding our... What, what can I say? Oil and wood uh, byproducts. Yeah, and so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna do just that. So, I start building, again. But I realized something, uh, uh, actually not realized, I was already aware of it. I hate this jetpack. Actually, I like it, this jetpack, but I hate how it's super annoying to keep uh, recharging. So, I want to, I want an upgrade. And I can make the upgrade now, because we have Platinum now. And the upgrade is relatively easy. Two Platinum wires. Come here, my friends. And... Yeah. You come here. With this. And uh, where's my jetpack? Yeah, it's here. Let's say it is, and we just need two carbon pl carbon plates, and then we will have... By the way, it's currently 72% full, and it's just the 1% of the new one's total uh, energy storage. So yes, we will be just fine, and I will take two this, because I will use a lot of. And you're gonna be recharged in high voltage, okay. Okay, you are high voltage. Nice, that's nice. Also, one more thing, you I have TPV alloy coils in on my hands. They are done in here. And so it's yeah, titanium dust, platinum dust, and vanadium dust with EV mixer. By the way, where is the EV mixer? I'm actually tapping uh, into the power from here. Anyway, uh, let's look at our new jetpack. It should be enough for now. And hover mode enabled, hover mode disabled. And I need to activate your you, right? So controls, uh, jet, uh, gra gravity fly key. And you would be C. Yeah, jetpack on. Yep. And I can easily get into the power mode and disable it. And disable the jetpack. Woohoo! And uh, it holds... It, by the way, it also has a really nice uh, protection. Ah, uh, it's the same. And now I'm holding this guy. And this guy. And you will be done in. Ah, yes, I was cooking some nichromes because I'm out of it and I will add a lot of coils. I will create a lot and lots and lots of lots of coils uh, in the near future. So, yeah, uh, that's something. By the way, uh, nearly a stack of platinum we made. Uh, goes to these guys. So yeah, we are still broke on the platinum uh, <laughs> parts. That's fun. That's really fun. And it's super enjoyable. Because uh, also, a quest reward, we get platinum for a uh, frying pan. I will probably upgrade the shit out of this guy. Because I... Uh, the one of, the, one of my favorite things about uh, Tinker's Construct is the frying pans. I didn't uh, done them because they weren't that effective in this pack, but you know what I will probably do? And let's do this and 
Voila! Yeah, we upgrade upgraded the thingy magic here. And you will be now able to do a lot more recipes. And with uh, better energy. Yeah, better energy yield. And I think I can now cook you too. Yeah, I can now cook this. Uh, by the way, why we are, are uh, why we are wanting this is because the plate is used for ore washing plants, and you know what? I don't have an actually good ore washing plant, and it's also a chemical plant too. So uh, I need to make two of this guy. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So yeah. That's also a thing that I need to make and uh, need to cook. Other than that, uh, let's the 40 of you stay here. I like uh, full numbers. So yeah, I will continue with the building here. I will probably end up finishing the maintenance uh, tunnels and uh, redesign this entire area for a better uh, thingy majigi. And let's recharge you and build this entire building with, hear me out, a greenhouse for uh, bonsai on top and uh, do more that thingy magic. -y. So, yeah, for you, for you, I will be right back in a second and for me i will probably spend two days so yeah okay after a long time i'm just recording for, for informing you about we are gonna take a, a bit longer time too uh why is that uh first i made a building here uh, we st it's still not fully finished because the inside layout is still something I'm deciding on. And, but outside is finished. And we have another wood farm. Uh, the difference is th those are nearly all full, uh, fully specced ones. So it is much, much faster. And we used, let's go in this size okay we use medium voltage crop manager with a uh, drawer controller and two drawers on top and one with void upgrade and logistics supply uh, provider pipe so yeah uh, we fully integrate this system into our logistic network and also demolish the old one i still didn't demolish this one because this will uh, carry to the na other side of the shore but this guy now directly connects to our logistics pipes network now the things are going to uh, we are going to do in this building is kind of intense and kind of repetitive it's actually you see all the parts except one thing and I cannot do do, the, uh, do that at the moment because I need to make some coils. And my cats decide to fight with each other. Anyway, let's look at it. Oil cracking unit. Oil cracking unit is this. And it's actually a chemical reactor, but only specialized in oil cracking. Uh, not oil cracking. Uh, the cracking uh, the things with steam and hydrogen and it produces much more and it produces faster so it will be a really really nice thing to do so what we're going to do is a bunch of uh, this guy a few, no, actually a few of this few of this guy bunch of uh, distillation towers and a bunch of large chemical reactors. Yeah, uh, firstly, we're gonna do something for the oil processing. If we put this oil into a distillation tower, we have some outputs. Uh, yeah, actually... 
Neptic, actually, that might be better for me at the end. Yeah, this, uh, see, one might be better because I will have Neptic Acid and yeah, I can get different things from it. Also, VDEX. Okay, okay. I will look at it, but at the end, those are the ones I need, and the sulfuric gas is the most important for me. But I will also get heavy fuel, light fuel, NAPTA, and NAPTA is also super important. Let's look at the lab NAPTA, and we get, actually, gasoline and chemical reactor with some stuff, and uh, the cracked version is... Steam cracked. Yeah, a bunch of other things. A bunch, bunch more other things. And yeah, the methane is important. Also, let's look at these guys. And uh, toluene is not the one I'm looking for, but fentanyl is something I'm looking for. And no, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah, things I are confusing. I'm gonna use a lot of distillation towers, as you can see. And also a lot of the cracking, and we will get nearly all the byproducts we can get from oils and wood products. Also, wood, gas. That's also something we are going to get, and that's why I actually we... Uh, bumped bumped up our uh, oil, uh, not oil, uh, wood production, and we will get wood vinegar, acetone, acetic acid, um, this guy, ethanol, methanol, and water. Water is going to be voided. Also, let's look at the oil recipes again, and we are getting sever severely steam cracked refinery gas. And if we put it into a Distillation tower, we get ethylene, meta, which is what we are f mainly using. Methane, it's super important. Ethane, and it's still important, but I will have to look for the uses that we are mostly going to use. Propane, and helium. Helium is an important part, and we will going to use helium a lot in the future. Not at the moment, Mike, but in the future, we are going to use a lot. And propane is... Uh, if we steam crack propane, we will get methane. But if we hydro cracked, we still get methane. Okay, propane is going to turn... Uh, going to turn into carbon and methane. Uh, do we have any other use? Ah, we have some. Uh, isopropane. And it will raw rubber dust. Okay, okay. We will look at it. So, we will make at least one of these. At least, I think, four of these? And at least four chemical re large chemical reactors and at least two oil cracking units. Why I am explaining this to you? Because I will be outside of the uh, city that where I'm currently living, so I do not have access to my desktop for a week. And I will probably do the, the those machines in a short amount of time and then i will explain everything to you and for you a few seconds later and for me nearly a week later actually more than a week later we finally have something on our hands and as you can see there are a lot of changes around here firstly we have an ev works station area yep uh, we upgraded our work, uh, we moved these guys here. And then we moved the fluids here. And I'm thinking about using something interesting. This guy. Uh, crafting sign creator. 
uh, it has two mods, one crafting uh, site cra uh, creator and other her is item amount sign creator. And I will do this. And you don't need to be here. And voila, let's do this and do that. Uh, it won't uh, read the amounts, yeah, sadly. Uh, but at least we have an idea, uh, a much more easier way of signing things. But I don't like the how it looks. So we are not going to use it. Anyway, let's look at the other things. Also, we have a lot more uh, super tanks and I'm out of super tanks. We moved most of the stuff from here and we moved some, uh, removed some automations here because they are unnecessary now. And we also automated the gel tooling with this. Uh, there are actually two recipes. This one is much more uh, efficient, but uh, we Tolian is kind of sort of free for us. So the cheaper and uh, less efficient recipe is better. And I just use a low voltage one because it's passive and it's 64 stacks of gel tooling. Actually, 65 uh, stacks of gel tooling. I can use whenever I want and it's just passive. So yeah, that's that. Other than that, I also need to show you how we are moving the power. Because I did the laser ray. Yeah. Uh, this is a cable diode. And let's go here. Uh, another cable diode goes to here. Uh, this goes to here. And here. 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 The only thing that is not connected to. Uh, after this point on, it's they are not connected to this network yet. Uh, this guy, it's there is a line he around here, uh, around here that is not connected, and also those guys are not connected, but they will. But these two room going to have a really huge overhaul. Anyway, let's continue with this. First, we move our pyro oven here. And without much uh, change, we connect it to the system and always keep four stacks of wood here. And the output is here. And the other out solid output is here. And wood is here. And we also ate a basic fluid extractor. And they are just extracting to here. And with conduit, it's just round robotic them. And just power. This is the simple stuff. Then, let's move to the big guns. This one is the wood tar. The good old wood tar. And you already know this recipe. And I made these guys. It's simple, just any low voltage circuit, uh, because I don't want to waste a space for input bus, if they do not have any. Anyway, uh, we'll probably move this guy here, uh, this guy to around here, and give, give him a friend. Because we will have to up our benzene production eventually. Anyway, let's go to this guy. This guy is oil. Uh, this one process oil, and with oil, let's look at it. Oil cell. We have uh, sulfuric heavy fuel, sulfuric light fuel, sulfuric natfa, 
Nafta and Sulfur Gas. Uh, we can get, we could get this guy, but the uses for it it's not needed at the moment. It will be important in the future, but yeah, uh, it's not yet. Anyway, let's look at the recipes. Uh, yeah, uh, heavy fuel, light fuel, naphtha, and sulfur gas. And we have two LCRs here. One LCR is on circuit 4. Uh, they, it has five inputs. Sulfur naphtha, sulfur gas, sulfur heavy fuel, hydrogen, and sulfur light fuel. Uh, why is that? Because actually, large chemical reactors doesn't have to be configured for one specific recipe. Actually, any multi-block in Gratic New Horizons works like that. With multiple inputs and outputs, you can actually parallel, not parallelize, but serialize, serialize uh, different recipes in it. For example. Uh, all those recipes, uh, let's look at the sulfur gas one. Uh, large chemical reactor, yeah. It only takes 8 seconds in LV, and we are running them, these guys, in HV, so it's just blazing fast. Uh, it's around sec. it's probably a second or two seconds, yeah. And uh, the production is slow, uh, slower. So yeah, uh, whenever it's full, it's just instance for it and for output buses uh, i designated different outputs for all of them and this the these ones output ah this is this hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfide directly goes to this input hatch and combined with oxygen it turns into sulfuric acid so that's it for this entire process. Yes, uh, by using a serialized approach, you actually get a better result for all of them, because you only need one LCR for it. Anyway, let's move to this guy. This is an oil cracker. Oil cracker needs coils. Uh, I don't I don't know if, if coil upgrades uh, does have any uh, upsides for it, but I they they I rolled I already had some, so I did. Uh, we have steam input, uh, and we have a benzene uh, generator, uh, gas turbine here. Uh, it will be okay. And here, refinery gas and naphtha. Those recipes are not working together. Uh, same as, yeah, by the way, yeah, severe steam cracked refinery gas and naphtha. Uh, like this guy, they are serialized. Whenever one is full, the other works. And then the other uh, uh, one is full, that recipe runs. And after it finishes, the other starts working. And uh, it's not constantly running, so it's just a good result for us. And then we are coming to this guy. Refinery gas. Uh, severely steam cracked refinery gas. So with distillation tower, we get propane, ethane, ethylene, methane, and helium. Also carbon dust. Uh, this guy is the main source. Also, I think we, are, we want, but also we need... This guy too, or some stuff. Yeah, it's going to be used a lot. And then this behemoth is severe steam crack naphtha. And you get heavy fuel, light fuel, toluene, benzene, but uh, uh, butane, butadine, propane, propane, uh, ethane, ethylene, methane. Ah, it's a mouthful. <laughs> but. Toline is already be already. Uh, those guys are not that important. Toline is a huge bonus. This guy, I don't know which one is which. 
but this guy is also uh, going to be important for us and because uh, this process and it's a much better rubber alternative and for uh, better coating it's going to be used a lot anyway uh, we need Still need a few more uh, distillation towers, but I have an issue. I'm out of circuits. Again. And what I'm going to do is actually expand this guy. I'm going to expand this guy and autom fully automate every circuit processing here. Uh, which means, actually... Uh, I'm planning to do not on demand uh, crafting, but I'm planning to do a passive crafting for circuits. So, uh, what I'm planning is for low voltage circuits, uh, and two stacks always ready, and for medium voltage, also two stacks, high voltage, two stacks, EV. EV uh, one stack. So yeah, that probably is. And for also for this area, I have another really nice plan. Let me just show you in the GT plus plus side side and this guy. Yep, this guy is both a bending machine and forming press. And with that, actually, we can also parallelize different uh, things. Because uh, as you can see, uh, is it? No, it doesn't uh, show, but you can actually put the multiple uh, input bu buses and Define circuits in them. For example, I have one input bus for uh, circuits one and one input one input bus for circuit two. If I put anything in circuit two, it's uh, circuit two one. It will process as circuit two, etc. etc. Uh, if I remember correctly, I I might be wrong, but it should be like that. So with that. We're gonna have a much, 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 much faster uh, bending machine. Uh, as you can see, five hundred percent faster than the uh, faster than using single block block machine of the same voltage. That is insane for us. Ah, uh, yeah. Each input bus can have a different circuit slash shape. Yep, that's an awesome device for us. And. The wire mill, uh, yeah, wire mill version is going to be opened after IV, so uh, it's it will wait for the Mars. So this is our current plan, and also I really should start working on our farm area because I need. Uh, let me get just uh, look at it first. I need it's three actually. And uh, terawatts. Dice are going to be important. A another oil area. Coals. A coal is going to be important. And I'm trying to get um, uh, metros and blah blah. The other stuff that is going to require that. Ores would be good, but it's not uh, necessary. And I definitely want all the stone lilies. All the stone lilies because they are going to be super useful and salty roots for our chlorine needs so this is the current state of our uh, environment and this is actually the sign off point and also one more thing i did this guy but i did not put it yet because i'm also out of pipes and I'm out of circuits. I need to craft a lot of circuits. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you get the rest. I will probably move these guys 
to a better place and just install this here. Uh, by the way, this guy is bought. Yeah, it's actually a quite nice multi block. It's bought a ore washing plan, ore washer, and chemical bath. Yeah, that's something. Anyway, uh, by the way, a small note, I actually have to talk about this in every episode, I guess. But mm, to get better on the YouTube, I need feedback first. That's the first. Also, I need interactions in the YouTube, YouTube channel. And th those interactions will help me get uh, better in the algorithm and... Uh, it YouTube will promote my channel a bit more. I know I'm an old school YouTuber. I know I'm actually old, <laughs> but I really appreciate your comments and likes. I, I, mostly comments because I really enjoy reading comments and replying to them. Uh, so, if you try, if it's okay for you, please try to comment. Anyway, this is Crafty Crafty, and have an amazing day.